Welcome to The Know, I'm Gray. And scientists were experimenting with a Paris Edinburgh device to compress liquid benzene, and as they released the pressure, which totaled roughly 200,000 times the pressure of the surface on Earth, they discovered that it created thin, tight rings of carbon structurally identical to diamonds, if you could unravel diamond-like cloth into threads. And in this case, the thread is thousands of times thinner than a human hair, and maybe the strongest nanothread ever discovered. And though it's a huge discovery, it's also an accident. Penn State University's John Batting relates, It's been known for a long time that if you put benzene under pressure, it would make a type of polymer. An Italian team did a similar experiment and found it was amorphous, disordered, with no pattern to the way materials held together, kind of like glass. We were trying to make the same material everyone else had made, but in larger quantities. But this time something interesting happened. The material became ordered. The Penn State researchers were attempting to compress a six millimeter wide quantity of benzene, which is far more than had been previously attempted. And as a result of that and the size of the device they were using, they released the pressure more slowly than previous attempts, and voila. Batting says, I'd love to be able to say that I predicted this was going to happen for benzene. I don't think I can say that. But in a way, our studies in benzene were a step in this larger goal, and we just happened to find that faster than we thought we would. Ted Simon, the International Space Elevator Consortium Director, believes a perfected version of this material would be ideal for creating space elevators. Now, for those of you not up on your sci-fi, a space elevator is basically a cable anchored to the Earth that extends way above the atmosphere, higher than even satellites, which would enable transportation of cargo into orbit without using rockets. Applications even extend to harvesting solar energy from collectors that would never have to worry about night or cloudy weather. Not to mention, sci-fi always depicts ships being built in docks in orbit, and that's going to require cargo transportation from the surface. So you couple that with a new space engine, which you can learn more about by clicking here, and advancements in stasis, which you can learn more about by clicking here, and the plan is all coming together. Now, mind you, there's still the little detail of perfecting the material. These may be stronger than carbon nanotubes, but they still need to get them to 60,000 miles in length. And so far, the longest nanotubes are only a few centimeters. Still, it's a start. And Tokyo-based firm Obayashi aims to build the first space elevator by 2050. Let's just hope it's sooner. So, what do you think of this development? What other uses do you see for incredibly thin, incredibly strong nanowire? Let us know in the comments. And remember, you get the best news in video games, entertainment, and space here. So make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep you in the know.